And about that time, we realized, uh-oh, they need to be told they're not alone in their own corporate network. Patch and update. All right, patch and update because it's the most common way. The most common way that you're going to get abused is you accidentally click on something you shouldn't have clicked on and the, the, the device takes advantage, or I'm sorry, the script or the hostile payload takes advantage of the security flaw. So we'll come back around to the earlier example of the cars being opened and the tools that I have. Second local company, larger number this time, they lost uh, about 240000 okay? They had a lot of money in their accounts because it turns out they had three companies all being run by the same ownership and bookkeeper. But this was also a more sophisticated attack. The reason we were called in was that they said their email systems were just clogging up, stopping. They could not get control and it had been going on for a longer period of time. We came and we investigated. It wasn't our critical response team because it was an email backup kind of issue. I wish to say that that's not uncommon, but we've all experienced it, okay? But once we got in and started digging, we realized, wait a minute, this is not random. It seems to be going after the bookkeeper, the controller, and the owner, okay? And then as we dug a little further, we started to realize, oh, there's other things wrong here. And about that time, we realized, uh-oh, they need to be told they're not alone in their own corporate network. Called them, I was a day too late. The money had transferred the day before, and they didn't call and tell us uh, they had other fish to fry. Um, and they had also noticed it, thankfully, quickly. By that point, they had recovered again more than half of the money, but they were still exposed at that point. Um, by the time that we were no longer working with them, they had, they had brought that number down considerably, but it was still um, a frightening amount of money that they didn't have control over, and they wanted to hold the bank accountable and otherwise, and it was going to get very, 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 very messy. So how did they get in? Um, well, this one was a planned one. This is one that I suspect was a group of people sitting around in a boardroom or a, 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 at least with a whiteboard or otherwise. They identified this group of folks. They identified them through LinkedIn. They figured out who the bookkeeper was, the people who had a t um, uh, access to the accounts that they had interest in. They specifically went after those folks. They subscribed them to lists, legitimate lists, GQ, Vogue, and on and on from around the world. Their spam filter did its best, but the reason they don't make their own lists up is because it's easier to get legitimate content through and overwhelm somebody than illegitimate content. And it's other people's systems, a lot less work. And so these folks um, started having more and more pile up in their inboxes. So they were clicking faster and faster and faster. And as their guard dropped, they started slipping more and more attempts in to get them to make the error. And I don't know which one of them did, but one of them did, okay? The second part was they weren't patching and updating. So that which got slipped in was able to take hold. And we ended up with the scenario that they got into.